The Trump administration's decision to reverse a ban on the sale of plastic water bottles in some of America's most famous national parks, such as the Grand Canyon shows the corporate agenda is king, and people and the environment are left behind, campaigners have said. Day of doom for national monuments is approaching. Read more the comments come after the administration ended a policy that allowed parks to ban the sale of plastic bottled water in an effort to curb pollution. This policy was a win-win for everyone except the bottled water industry, which is only interested in its bottom line, said Lauren Darusha Flores, a campaign director for Corporate Accountability International, a group that campaigns against corporate abuses. The change means national parks will no longer be allowed to ban plastic bottled water, after Trump administration officials ended a six-year-old policy put in place to curb pollution. The National Park Service, responsible for America's most celebrated wilderness areas, announced the change in a press release that closely echoed lobbyists' arguments against the ban. It should be up to our visitors to decide how best to keep themselves and their families hydrated during a visit to a national park, particularly during hot summer visitation periods, said Acting National Park Service Director Michael Reynolds. He said parks would continue to encourage people to use free bottle filling stations, as appropriate. The same argument was used by the bottled water industry's main mouthpiece, the International Bottled Water Association, just last year. Members of the lobbying organization include representatives of bottled water giants such as Nestle, which sells brands such as Poland Springs, Perry and San Pellegrino. In North America, just six years ago, the Park Service encouraged America's 417 federal parks to end bottled water sales where practical, arguing that the system needed to be an exemplar of sustainability. Parks that did ban bottled water only did so after installation of water bottle filling stations and a campaign to inform visitors where those filling stations are. Since 2011, 23 of America's most famous parks had ended bottled water sales, such as the Grand Canyon and Zion, which together draw 10, 2 million visitors in 2016 alone. Last year, 331 million people visited America's national parks. Plastic bottles at the Grand Canyon alone comprised 20% of the park's waste, and 30% of its recyclable waste.